arithmetic means. Another lesson for Math 10. Okay. We have these given terms 54, 59, 64, 69, and 74. Okay. What kind of sequence is given above? What do you think is the type of sequence that is being illustrated in that particular terms? That is arithmetic sequence. Okay. That is the common difference. Since it's, a co since it's an arithmetic sequence, so what do you think is the common difference? You still remember how to get the common difference? That is, subtract second term by the first term. Third term minus the second term. So 59 minus 54, and that is 5. 64 minus 59, that is also 5. So therefore, the common difference is 5. Okay. What number precedes or comes before 74? Okay, what do you think is the number that precedes 74? And that is 69. Okay, another question. What number is located between 54 and 64? So we have our 54 and 64. So what is the number located between these two terms? And that is 50. Nine. Okay, 59 is in between 54 and 64. Okay, what number, what numbers lie between 54 and 74? So what are the numbers lie between 54 and 74? Well, these are, okay, these are 59, 64, and 69. Okay. So why do you think we're talking about those things? So in an arithmetic sequence, all the terms between any two non-consecutive terms are called the arithmetic means of these two terms. So today we will be talking about arithmetic means. What are these and how to determine arithmetic means? Okay. In, an, in the arithmetic sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20, the terms 8, 12 and 16 are the so-called, how do we call these three terms in between 4 and 20? That is, the three arithmetic means between this first and last term. So these are the arithmetic means, 8, 12, and 16. Okay, for this, in the arithmetic sequence, 10.2, 12.7, and 15.2. The term 7, 12.7 is, how do we call this term? In between first and third term. So this is the arithmetic mean. Okay, 12.7 is the arithmetic mean between 10.2 and 15.2. Okay, so solving for the indicated problems of arithmetic means. So this time we will be solving for arithmetic mean or arithmetic means of a particular arithmetic sequence. Example number one. Insert two arithmetic means between 8 and 44. Okay, we are going to look for two arithmetic means. So between 8 and 44, so we have our 8 as our first term. And then you are going to insert two, so we have blank, blank, and our last term is 44. Okay. Since we are going to insert only two, so we have, we're going to look for the second term and the third term. So using the nth formula of arithmetic sequence or the nth term of our arithmetic sequence, we will substitute the given data or the given information. Our nth term or last term is 44, this one. Our first term is 8. Our n here is 4. Why is it 4? It's because... We are given with two terms and we are going to insert another two, a total of four terms. So our n is four minus one and then we don't have common difference. Okay, next is we have 44 equals eight plus four minus one, that is three times d and that is three d. That's why we have this step. 44 equals eight plus three times d. Next is 
Applying the addition property of equality to eliminate 8. So we are going to add negative 8 here and in the other side also. So we have 8 minus 8. Okay, that will become 0. So what will remain here is 3D. And 44 minus 8, that is 36. So we have 36 is equal to 3D. Next, to eliminate 3, which is the, uh, the numerical coefficient of D, okay, we will eliminate 3 so that D will remain here. So we are going to divide both sides by 3. Or in this process, we are going to apply the multiplication property of equality or simply divide both sides by 3 to eliminate 3, which is the numerical coefficient of D. So this will be 3 divided by 3, that's 1. So D remain here. And 36 divided by 3, that is 12. So therefore, our common difference is 12. Okay. Since we already have common difference, we can now complete the sequence we have here. Okay, so we have our sequence is 8, blank, blank, 44. So we're looking for the second and the third term. And take note, our common difference is 12. So how to complete the sequence? That is simply add the common difference 12 to the first term. First term is 8 plus 12, and that is 20. Next, 20 plus the common difference 12, and that is 32. And lastly, 32 plus 12, and that is 44. So this is our first term. This is our second, third, and then fourth. Okay, so therefore, our sequence, we have 8. This one, 8, 20, 32, 44. Okay, so this is our first term, 8, based on our given. And 44 is our four terms. So therefore, our arithmetic means are 20 and 32. So these are the two terms between 8 and 44. Okay, another example. Insert three arithmetic means between negative 30 and negative 10. How many arithmetic means? That is three. So there are three that we are going to find out, three terms. So we have here First term is negative 30, and we are going to insert 3. So this one, second term, third term, and the fourth term. And the last term is negative 10. So we are going to look for this 3 arithmetic means. Okay, so using the nth term of our arithmetic sequence, substituting our last term is negative 10. Our first term is negative 30 plus n. Our number of terms we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So a total of 5 terms. So our n is equal to 5. Minus 1 times the common difference. Okay. So we have negative 10 is equal to negative 30 plus 5 minus 1. That is 4 times d. That's 4d. Next is we are going to apply the addition property of equality. So we are going to add both sides by 30 to eliminate this negative 30 here. So negative 30 plus 30 and that will be 0. So 4D here on this side will remain. And negative 10 plus 30 that is 20. Okay, to eliminate 4, the numerical coefficient of D, we are going to divide both sides by 4. Okay, or we will apply the multiplication property of equality or simply divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of D, which is 4, to eliminate 4 so that D will remain. So 20 divided by 4 and that is 5. So therefore, our common difference is 5. Now, we will use this common difference to complete our sequences here, these terms here. Okay, so we have... Our sequence again, that's negative 30, our first term, and we are going to look for this 3, arithmetic means, and the last term is negative 10. So we will be looking these 3 terms. And our common difference is equal to 5. Okay, so we will add this common difference to the first term. So negative 30 plus 5, that's negative 25. This will be our second term. For the third term, negative 25 plus 5, and that is equal to negative 20. This, is, well, this will be our third term. 
Next is negative 20 plus 5 is equal to negative 15. And this is our fourth term. And to check if we have this correct last term, we have negative 15 plus 5 and that is equal to negative 10. Okay, so we have this last term, negative 10. So therefore, our sequence then is negative negative 30, negative 25, negative 20, negative 15, and negative 10. So therefore, our arithmetic means are 25, negative 25, negative 20, and negative 15. So these are the three arithmetic means between negative 30 and negative 10. Okay, example number three. What is the arithmetic mean between 2 and 32? Here we are going to look for only one arithmetic mean. So we have 2, amazing term, and 32. So this amazing term is our arithmetic mean. We only are going to insert only one term. So that is, we will only add first and the last term. So that is 2 plus 32 divided by 2. So 2 plus 32, that is 34, divided by 2, and that is 17. So our sequence then is 2, second term, the missing term, that's 17, and the last term is 32. So the, the term between 2 and 32 is 17. Therefore, our arithmetic mean is 17. Okay. Okay, so we have fourth example. Insert five arithmetic means. And find the fifth term of a sequence whose first term is negative 4 and seventh term is negative 8. So, solution, take note, our first term is negative 4 and our seventh term is negative 8. So, we have here first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh term is negative 8. So, to determine for the five arithmetic means... And the fifth term of this sequence, we, of course, we are going to apply the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, which is n term is equal to first term plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Last term is negative 8. Our first term is negative 4 plus n. There are 7 terms. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our n is 7. Minus 1 and times the common difference. Next is 7 minus 1, that is 6 times d, so we have 6d. Applying the addition property of equality, so we have, we are going to add 4 both sides to eliminate negative 4. So plus 4 on the other side, you will also add 4. So negative 4 plus 4 will become 0, so 6d here will remain. And negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4 is equal to 6d. Okay, to eliminate 6, the numerical coefficient of d, so we will divide both sides by 6. Okay, this one. So 6 divided by 6, that's 1, so d here will remain, and it's negative 4 over 6, which is equal to negative 2 third. So our common difference is negative 2 third. Divide both, both numbers. Divide this by 2, divide this also by 2, so we have negative 2 thirds. Or simply express this in lowest terms. So our common difference for this one is negative 2 thirds. So our sequence, we have negative 4 plus to be inserted with 5 arithmetic means. And the last term is negative 8. So take note, our common difference is negative 2 thirds. So we will use this common difference, add this. To the first term. So negative 4 plus negative 2 thirds, and that is negative 14 over 3. So this will be our second term. Now to, to get for the third term, we will add negative 14 over 3 plus negative 2 thirds is equal to negative 16 over 3. So this is our third term, this one. And for the fourth term, we have negative 16 over 3 plus negative 2 thirds is equal to negative 18 over 3 or this is equal to negative 6. So this is our fourth term.
And for the fifth term, we have negative 6 plus negative 2 third is equal to negative 20 over 3. Next, we have this term will be added by the common difference again. So it's negative 2 third plus negative 2 third is equal to negative 22 over 3. And last, we have this sixth term, negative 22 over 3 plus negative 2 third is equal to negative 24 over 3. Simplify and this is equal to negative 8. So to complete the sequence again, we have these terms. Negative 4, our first term. Next, negative 14 over 3 followed by negative 16 over 3. Next, negative 6, then negative 20, this one, negative 20 over 3, negative 22 over 3, and negative 8. So therefore, these are our arithmetic means. This one, negative 14 over 3 up to negative 22 over 3. So these are the 5 arithmetic means. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So these are the 5 arithmetic means between negative 4 and negative 8. And now for the fifth term. Previously, we were asked to find the fifth term. So we will just simply count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore, this one is our fifth term. Okay. This one is our fifth term. And these five terms in between negative 4 and negative 8 are our arithmetic means. Okay, hope you learned something from this. Thank you, and this is Teacher Carl.